Yo, what's up, guys? It's the 8 Bit Blackstock back again for another spoopy game. Today, we are playing. Oh, welcome, players from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Mid. Today, we're playing Midnight Scenes Episode 2. And we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after the quick word from our sponsor. Support your indie devs. Buy this game for a dollar or more. Get my eternal gratitude. Buy it for five dollars or more. Get the awesome Midnight Scenes 2 PDF art book. Yeah, I'll probably do that later. I think it's on Steam, and they're doing like a thing where you buy it and you get all the episodes. So I think I'm gonna do that. This is really cool. Midnight Scenes, so cool, so cool, so cool. A short game by Octavi Navarro. So cool. So cool. Oh, they're probably not going to come out one after the other, but I am indeed playing the second episode immediately after the first episode because, holy, that first episode was like, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Richard, Madison, my love. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at the airport was to be our last, I would have told you everything. What do you mean? I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. Huh? Okay. Oh, is this me? I'll be gone just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. God, dare God, Richard. Fuck, dick. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. The gas leak in the lab last night, it put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No. It was only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Aww. Kissy, kissy. Smoochy, smoochy. Oh, am I controlling? Oh, I'm controlling right now. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. Okay, what's this? Oh, sir, may I see your ticket, please? Fuck no. Yes, uh... Where did I put it? Oh, God. Richard, here. Oh, you have my ticket, you little biatch. It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now. I'll be late. I love you. Okay, cool. Plane ticket. Give it to that. Give it to that chick. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Cool. Let's go on the ladder. Tonight's episode, the goodbye note. The goodbye note. Not the goodbye note. Uh, can I go in here? No. No. All right, well, I guess I'll... I guess I'll go go to my my seat. 3A, I'm not sure that's my seat. I'm not sure that's my seat. I should probably check my ticket. I am 5A. Okay. 5A, that's my seat. Sit down. Uh, sorry, I gotta text you guys. Excuse me, sir, let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you, I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir, the regulations. It'll stay with me, thank you. Yeah, I don't take my bag. You'll never take Richard's bag. Screw you! Taking this plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. What? What do you mean, you trapped yourself? Bro, you just played yourself. Is there going to be a crash? There's obviously going to be a crash. Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering a thunderstorm. We may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your belts fastened. Totes. Totally. Your wine, sir. Can lightning make a plane explode, Mom? Just try to sleep, dear. Oh, God, can it? Oh. Where did everybody go? What? No, 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 no! No, leave me alone. What have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elysian while I'm alive. You hear me never. What's the Elysian? And why don't, why can't they get it? My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on this plane. You knew I was hiding something. Sigh. It all started last night. In the lab. In the lab. Oh, God, no. 
Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't even have a present for him. And, you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Oh, no. Hello? Who's there? What was that noise? It came from the control station. Alright. What a mess. Alright. Came from the control station. Wait. Yeah, I would like to hit that switch. It came from the... Oh, hello? Who's in here? Who's in here? Who's in here? Oh. Hello. Linda, you scared me to death. I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what? What happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Those are some noises, all right. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Oh, sorry, you guys. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Okay. Mall, but that's impossible. The whole area is sealed. Is it though? Damn, do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from the out from outside the sealed unit would be enough to contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I better get the clean room and make sure the illusion is secured. Yes, good idea. You should be able to unlock the clean room doors for this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Please insert the code. We need to use the correct combination of keys to enable the code. Console, I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here while you find it. Please hurry up. Okay, so I need to find some key. I need to find codes. I need to find some codes. I need to find some, some, some codes. Does anybody know about any launch codes? Nothing that's out of place. Right. Cool. I love that music. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's go to... I need to find a list of codes. Documents. A map used in the Antarctic Expedition. It marks the spot where the Elysian was found. Okay. Where would he keep codes? Ugh, I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. I'm probably the only guy I know who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. Am I gonna get anything by using the keyboard? Welcome, Dr. Coleman. How can I help you? Games? Shall we play a game? Sure. Sure. Sorry, games have been disabled by your administrator. <laughs> okay. Uh, classified security clearance denied. Okay. If I can, I can I. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't do anything with this computer. Can I open the drawer? Notebook. Oh, codes, codes, codes. Okay, cool. It is. What did it say it was? What month did it say it was? Go back. Oh god. Well, I have that anyway. That's the thing I have. So I can't use the keyboard. Is there anything else I can know? What month is it? There was a calendar over here. It is October. What's this? I didn't read any of this stuff. A picture of the dig site. Okay. Okay. It's through here. Sorry, guys. I'm a big explorer. I'm just gonna go ahead and explore, explore the whole area. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. My bad. All right. Computer. Is there anything I can do with the my desk, the only one that seems to make sense, and... Oh my god. You prick. What can I do about it? Can I do anything? Phone? Come on, Coleman, answer the phone. Nothing, of course. It's only 11 p.m. He still has the whole night ahead of him to finish pickling his liver. Alright. So I can't use the drawer on this one, so... I'm Dr. Griffin. Alright, well, anyway... I guess if you go back in here, and you go here to the control room, 
It just takes a second. Let me see this. Can I see this? So it's R D U L. R D U L. You got the codes. Okay, it's oh, it's down. Oh. R D R D U L. R D U L. Ha ha! Real impressive, Richard. Yay, I did it! Okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going into the clean room, you guys. The clean room. The Mr. Clean Room. Oh, go. Yeah, go through there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going in the clean room. Holy. I know it's restricted access, but if you need help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into one of those suits. I don't think the regulations. Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking the rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I gotta get a clean suit. Getting my clean suit. Oh, that was so cool. Baton. All right. Okay. Here we go. Into the clean room. I turned on the comm system and shout if you need anything. Hey, Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I'm on it. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Much better, thanks. Oh, it's Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, secure. That's where we keep the Elysian box. I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break the refrigeration system. Vent. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. But just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Cool. Okay, I think we can officially declare this a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. I think you should check the Elysian. Make sure it's intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's absolutely... You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you are the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. Ugh, fine. Fine! What is the Elysian? Ooh. The Elysian, the reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab and my many sleepless nights. Oh god, it was found in Antarctica a month ago, and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. Its creators finally found it and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Okay. Cool. Okay. Of course. Of course. What's happening, Linda? 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 Linda, can you hear me? Linda? 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 Are you there? Linda? Linda? Oh! What the fluff? Who, who are you? Oh god. Where's Linda? What have you done to her? What do you want? You came from this thing, right? What is it? What are you going to do with it? Oh, they, they came for the... They came for the Elysium! Not the Elysium! Oh my god, it's like... It's like two... Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. The temperature is dropping, the thing wants to freeze me to death. This suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but I won't hold out for long. I've got to do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to the Elysian. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the, fa I felt the fate of all the humankind weighing on my shoulders. So in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysium and run. Okay. Give me that shit. 
I'm leaving! The emergency system is locked. Okay, I'm leaving! A screw, a big one. Okay. Screw to the wall, I can't open it. Okay. What am I supposed to... What am I supposed to... I don't have a screwdriver or anything. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh, there's a screwdriver. Cool. I got a screwdriver. That's a thing I got. That's a thing that I've, I've got and that I'm doing. Can I take the screw? Let's go. No way I would freeze to death. Well, then what was the point of... What was the... What was the... Do I need a screw for this? Is that what's wrong here? Oh. What? Why did I do that? Oh! Detaching the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break or short circuit the refrigeration system. Um... Screw... Oh. Detached wires. Screw... The screw should be conductive and it's long enough to connect to the end of both cables. Okay, cool. Now can I go through the vent? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a body. <laughs> so you're the one who was making a racket in here. You're not a rat after all. But why the hell were you thrown in the vents? That's a good question, man. That's a good question. That is a good question. How do I... How do I... Can I go up? Can I... Can I go up there? Can I, the lab isn't safe anymore. I know, but where, where do I gotta? Where do I gotta go? Oh. All right. Ah! Damn. All right, keep going. Just keep going. Where am I now? I should take this suit off. I can barely move. But first I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysium. I'm not touching it with my bare hands. A lead coat suitcase. They're perfect for carrying dangerous materials. At least for a few hours. Cool. Cool. I got it all in a suitcase. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell happened here? I'm not sticking around long enough to find out. Can we start the car? No, we can't. No, we can't. Is that my car? Can I get into my car, please? Is this my car? Am I driving away, finally? I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to the headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. Okay. Okay. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane, and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling into that creature's hands. Okay. Cool. What? Come on, you want the Elysian? Then come get it. You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. Can I get that? What is that? An umbrella? Okay, cool. I got an umbrella. That's a thing I got. Overhead compartment. Is that where I just was? Okay, yes. Yes. Um. I got an umbrella. I don't know what that would be for. Cabinet. Can I open it? What's in here? Extinguisher. Okay, I got a fire extinguisher now, too. That's good. Glad I went that way first. This is so creepy, you guys. Oh, God, I don't like any of this. Okay. So, what's the deal? There's a door. I need to leave this plane as soon as possible, but killing myself won't solve anything. Alright, door to the cockpit. Somebody there? Hello? Hello? The radio. I can hear the radio. I need to get in there and call for help. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Is 
there anyone in there? Yeah! Can't reach it. Now do I use the umbrella to get the door handle? Oh, I'm so, I'm so good. Oh my god, it's flying on its own. That creature must be controlling it somehow. Oh, good god. Give me the parachute. Plain instruments. Radio. Hello, is there anywhere? Damn, it's broken. Alright, so that's no use to me. Can I put the parachute on me? Okay, I've got a parachute now. Let's do this. The Elysian, I can't leave without it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh? Huh? Dang. Alright. Cool. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh my god, what what the fuck, you guys? What the fuck? Jump! Why would you- Oh, I'm not even- Oh, I'm on ground now. Arg! I'm on the ground now. Somehow. Okay. What am I gonna do now? Here's what you wanted, just come and get it. Come on, do what you have to do. I don't care, I can't do this anymore. You went through all that, now you're just gonna give it to them? You're just gonna give it to them? I guess this is how it ends. Is it? Sigh. Madison, my love, I don't know how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. Ugh, that's so sad. Oh, who's that? What the fuck? Linda? Oh my god, your face. Hello, Richard. I'm such a fool. It was you from the beginning. What? Linda? Please, I beg you. Just tell me what it is that thing. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked in that stupid sealed room, blocking its transmissions. Now that it's working again, you'll have some real interesting neighbors very soon. No. What? Oh, here they come. No, please, Linda. No, Linda, please. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. I don't want a new life. I want my old life, Linda. No, please, Linda, no. Is it aliens? Is it aliens? Sorry, what? What? Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want honey on your cereal. Is something wrong? It's fine. Don't. In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized, and I dare say, happy. What? Am I an alien? Am I an alien? Am I an alien? What am I supposed to do? Oh. I think today will be a great day. Huh? Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, that was Midnight Scenes, the goodbye note. That was great. That was awesome. Oh man, they took the first one and they made it longer and just Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool, you guys. I don't know if they're planning on releasing an episode 3, but if they do, I'm going to play it cuz that was so cool. That was so cool. Oh I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you guys want to play it for yourself. If you have any games you guys want to play. Oh, streamers and future games on buying this title for the price of your choice. Oh, thank you for making this awesome game. But anyway, so yeah, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. And if you guys have any games you guys want me to play, you can leave those in the comments. And I'll check all of those 100% for sure, absolutely. But anyway, this was Midnight Scenes, Episode 2, The Goodbye Note. Oh, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping me safe from the spoopy monsters. As always, this is the 8-Bit Blackstock. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!